come scratch for me, cause Mickey loves you. I touched a pair of turntables. I guess the year was probably 1984. This is my man's basement. This is my boy Yo Yo's house, DJ Yo Yo. He was also murdered on these steps. These same steps. Rest in peace to my man, Anthony Way. I saw 1,200 turntables for the first time in my life in this basement through this window. We used to come and knock on the window. Uh, sometime after that, we would end up selling crack out this window. And. I would park out here sometimes, get out. I met Yo-Yo through um, a little dollar spot that he had over there called the Get-Go. It used to be on Germantown, where 4th and Germantown come together on the Germantown side. It was like an abandoned building, like on some Beach Street shit, like with the, with the electricity hooked up illegally with motherfuckers just jamming. I used to go in there and see like DJs like DJ Fats. They used to be down the way. It was another boy from Pentown named DJ Moat. Um, Kiski was out at that time. DJ Kiski used to DJ at Sanchez. My man Yo Yo also had Sanchez. Sanchez bar is on, uh, what's that, Dolphin Street. A long time ago, I came to see my man Yo. And we walked up the street. We walked this way and we went up to the gas station that's up there. And it was a dude in the Cadillac. He was, he was gritting on us. And, um, you know, we gritted him down. And then we went in and we got uh, two beef sodas. And two jelly rolls, you know, the square jelly rolls used to have a cherry in the middle. We got two of them, and when we came back out of the jaw, the cops was out there. And they was arresting him. We remember seeing some chick get out the car, and she jogged around the block. But well, we ain't know why she jogged around the block. So that was Gary Heidnick. And we seen Gary Heidnick get arrested at Six and, Six and Gerard. We didn't know it was Gary Heidnick, obviously. But one of the other people who was also involved in the Gary Heidnick House of Horrors, my mom's best friend was a woman named Juana. She was like a, a aunt to me. Um, she was Puerto Rican. She taught us how to cook, you know, pork and season the rice. And she taught us what sofrito is and all different kind of stuff. The, the, the Puerto Rican heritage that I grew up with, I grew up with in this neighborhood. This was a mixed neighborhood. They had black, white, and, and Puerto Ricans. And I went to school with people that was of all different nationalities. So I got a good, a good, um, idea of different cultures early on as a kid but transforming into a black art form it was a difficult transition to begin with because I wasn't sure that I belonged I didn't have any musicians background or um, you know professionally trained to know how to write or play music I just knew that I, how I had a passion for scratching that's what I wanted to do I wanted to I wanted to learn how to scratch like Jam Master J Yo-Yo taught me, after watching a video called Graffiti Rock, he taught me who Jazzy Jeff was by, he had cassette tapes with Jazzy Jeff at the whim. He had cassette tapes of Barry P and Cosmic Kev at the whim. We had videotapes, VHS videotapes of Kev cutting with a Daniel Boone fur hat. It was back in the day. Um, Distro. 
Um, Master Vic and Exotic Don. Um, what's good? Uncle what's, 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 what's going on, man? Tough crew. Yeah. Doing what he do, baby. Joe, we go way back like a Cadillac with 15 flats, baby. All the way back. You got to say this. Immortal Films, Tough Talk. Immortal Films, Tough Talk, baby. One love. One love. Uh, right now, you listen to the sounds of Count Darchula, better known as Ralphie Reese. You know what I'm saying? Representing Uptown Philadelphia. Dart Unit. You know what I mean? That's the squad. Vinny Vendetta. Uh, Supreme Cerebral. You know what I mean? All the producers. You know what I mean? Young cats, but they doing their thing. But let me ask you something though, real quick though, you know what I'm saying? As far as like the scratching techniques and shit, all right, I heard you say that, you know, you took a little bit from this, this element, you took a little bit from that element and you kind of blended them together, come up with your own shit, you kind of, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like how if a, if, a, if a running back was to study Walter Payton, Bo Jackson, Jim shit Brown. like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And come up with his own running style, but, what, what, where is the line between that and niggas biting other techniques and shit, scratching techniques? Well, that's where, good. Where's the line between that? The line between that is somebody had to learn somehow, so I could very well, hey, if you say that I bit off a of Jazzy Jeff and learn and model my scratch after him, that's a fact. If you say I bit off a of DJ Cash Money, the Mighty Hard Rocker, and, and tried to emulate, to copy his exact scratches off of a mixtape that I had, yo, I did it. And then I heard Terminator X. And it started to give me a different idea on how to use those things that I learned from Jeff and them when I had to do it over top of a track. Because now it's not at the whim. Now it's not at 52nd and Master YMCA with me doing whatever, a battle against Rockin' Hood or whatever it was. Now it's you in the song. You, instead of on the mountain, looking down at the city, with the turntables and you control everything, well now you microscopically inside the microscopically inside the beat. You looking at where you going, you gotta get in these eight bars. And you gotta make it fit, and you still gotta keep that <laughs> aggressive, whatever, well, you know. Yeah, that's the thing. I didn't go like, into it like I wanna be an aggressive DJ called too tough. I didn't go into it like that. It's a, you're saying you're a musician, bro. Like you're saying, just like any other instrument, you gotta find your ways to fit in the pockets. You know what I'm saying. I used to listen to like five albums when I was young, when I was a kid. Before DJ Leonard, I had Bill Conti, Rocky, first soundtrack. I had John Travolta, Saturday Night Fever, with all that BG shit and all that. Yeah, on there. yeah, yeah. Uh, I had uh, Really Rosie. It was a, a play. It teaches you about whatever it was. It was like a classic play that they did on Broadway, but they also did a cartoon about it, really rosy. I had um, Grease, the soundtrack from Grease. It was green. It was yeah. like the first records that I had. And the first hip hop joint I bought was um, Super Rhyme, mm -hmm. um, Jimmy Spicer. Mm -hmm. That's the 10 minute rhyme shit. Yeah, and then I bought Funky, uh, the sequence. Funk, you, right on up. Boom, 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 boom. So let me ask you this. Yo, I remade that joint. So what should what, what what would you consider just iconically listening? You know what I'm saying? As far as scratching and you know songs and you know how songs, you know, the DJ get a chance to, to get their shit off and all that, you know what I'm saying? What what you, you, you know, just your opinion. What's the hottest shit? What's the like the hardest shit, man? The, the, a song that, you know what I'm saying, comes on and then everybody waits for the DJ and then the DJ just tears the, tears the scratch part up. Oh, I can't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need help on that one. Uh, nah. I, I, can I, can I, I, have, I, have my, I have my favorite. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? What's happening? EPMD. It's great. You got to fucking chill. Mm. That shit right there. You got to chill. Bone chilling, bro. Right. But then he came back on. Rampage, scratch again. Yeah, yeah. On a rap, 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 rap. Oh, yeah, 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 Scratch, shout out to DJ Scratch, yo. Yeah, yeah. Um, of course, you know, for me, I got to say Jazzy Jeff, because that. Yeah, yeah. You got the whole crowd in your hand when Jeff had him at Union Square with the. Well, is, this, is this when he gonna let him go? I'm gonna say when this. When is he gonna let him go? When it. Uh, 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 it's like, yo, you see this shit? 
Yo, I used to love, love Jeff. I still love Jeff, even though you know Two Tough versus Jazzy. Jeff. We've touched on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's social That's, media. Yeah. Shout I got out three. Jeff. I got three. I got three. I'm gonna give you my three too. Go ahead. I got three. The first one is, of course, you know what I'm saying my part of town. Do do say it's that nigga, right? The second one is. I'm bad, LL Cool J and shit, you know what I'm saying? And my third one is Take It Personal. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Gangstar, shout out to Gangstar, yeah. Rest in Peace, Cool Woo and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. Well, so real. back in the day, it used to be a Cash shit. Money put out a record using Pump Me Up. It was called uh, Scratch Into The Funk. Pump, 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 pump me up. It was, a, it was whack. He put it out on wax. Yeah. It was just him cut and pump me up. We used to go search for that job. Like, I mean, I had the wax, but when we found the wax at Funko Mart, we was like, oh shit. Yo, you see what's, you know what I mean? We were snapping. Uh, so that one, DJ Cash Money, wasn't on no label. The second one is Molly Mall Scratch. Molly, mm -hmm. Molly, since you just heard how with DJ Sam, you know what I mean? It got a lot of ending jaws where you can go right into the break and he starts scratching. <laughs> Down here because we used to call this dinosaur shit. Okay. Because it looks like dinosaur yeah. shit, right? Yeah. I used to sit on this joint, but nonetheless, the the beginnings of wherever I learned how to do any kind of stuff with a turntable. Right. I, I saw a turntable for the first time in my life in that basement. Okay. So that's why we're here. Okay. But more than that, this is like you know what I mean? Yeah. That's like a relic. Yeah, it's still here. It's, it's sacred. It's sacred because you're still you know here I mean? and you remember it. R.I.P. My man, Yo Yo Anthony Wright. Shadow in the house. Shadow, my man.